Hi guys, and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video, we're diving into two really interesting development boards from Lily Go, the T-Embed CC1101 and the T-Embed SI4732. Now, both of these boards are based on the ESP32-S3, but each one is designed with a different purpose in mind. So let's break down what makes them unique how they compare and where you might want to use each one. So let's start off with the T-Embed CC1101. Now this little powerhouse is built around the ESP32 S3 dual core chip, meaning you get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5, and plenty of processing power. But what makes this version special is that it has a sub gigahertz transceiver. Now that opens up communication in the 300 to 928 megahertz range. That's perfect for long range or low power IoT applications. Think wireless sensors, remote controls, or even your own custom RF communication setups. Now it's also got a 1.9 inch IPS LCD, a rotary encoder, a reset button, a small speaker, NFC with a PN532 module, and even IR transmit and receive support. So basically, it's a mini all-in-one lab for wireless projects. Now there's also an IO header on the bottom, along with a micro SD card slot for memory expansion or storing application data. Now the default application that comes with this version of the T-Embed has a slight resemblance to the famous Flipper Zero, although the Flipper Zero has hundreds, if not thousands of applications already available on the internet to download for free. The source code for this version's default firmware is available on GitHub, and there are plenty of other examples that you can either just load as a firmware file, or you can delve deep into the code and compile those examples and applications yourself so you can see how they work. Now, some of the features that are included with a demo firmware include Wi-Fi scanners, Bluetooth sniffers, and even a sort of replay attack style sub gigahertz radio receiver with built-in record and playback functions. And I'd like to take a moment to thank JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Now JLC PCB provide easy, affordable and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Now JLC PCB website is extremely easy to use and ordering PCBs from JLC PCB is effortless. Just simply upload your Gerber file to get an instant quote and place your order in minutes. It's as easy as shopping online. Now you can get one to eight layer PCBs for just $2 and with efficient large scale production, this reduces cost and brings you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is highly reliable and all in-house production ensures quality stability especially with their strict quality control in every process. You can have your PCBs produced in less than 24 hours if you need them in a rush. Easy to use, affordable to make, and reliable to trust. You can always count on JLC PCB. Now don't miss out JLC PCB's six layer PCB special. You can get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality six layer PCBs for just $5. Thanks again to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Okay, so let's take a look at the other version. This is the one with the SI4732 receiver. And you might find that mix of letters and numbers quite familiar. And that's because it's the same chip found in the ever so popular multiband, multi-mode receivers that I've covered on this channel before. Now at first glance, it looks very similar with the same form factor, same ESP32 S3 version. It has the same display and controls, but the magic here is that SI4732 chip. So the SI4732 is a full AM and FM and shortwave radio receiver, which means this board is perfect for building a software defined radio project or just experimenting with SDR like features on a compact device. You can tune into FM, AM and even sideband and even shortwave broadcasts right on the board. And the ESP32 handles the interface, so you could build anything from a portable radio to a spectrum analyzer UI. 
As with the other version of the T-Embed, there's also a dedicated GitHub page where you can download a master folder, which includes various pre-compiled firmwares for you to test and learn from. If you want to learn even deeper, then the source code for these projects are included, meaning you can start developing your own apps for this device even easier. Now, this is a firmware which may be extremely familiar, and this is the UI for the firmware which makes this T-Embed into a portable mini radio receiver. Now, at the time of making this video, this particular build is included in the download from GitHub, and it also provides a compiled firmware that you can just load or you can open the source code. Now this works just fine. Take a listen to this. Okay, sometimes it's maintenance work. Uh, if it's raining, well, we can't do anything outdoors, but... Uh, I'll just take the headphones off for a second. Ending in X-ray, X-ray, over. Yeah, the call is Mexico 3, Sanity Bar, X-ray, X-ray, Mike 3, Zebra, X-ray, X-ray, over. Now I did also come across another firmware version for this particular device which does look really nice and it was very easy to navigate. However, I was not actually able to activate the SSB modes. It appeared they were just not working yet. Now I'll link to this firmware below just in case that project does improve in the near future. Now you may be wondering if I tried the other firmware versions that we've seen on those similar smaller devices. Well, I did a couple of them, but they were just not compatible with this hardware just yet. Now this device definitely sounds better than the little receivers that I've tested before. And it also has this nicer case, not some dodgy 3D printed case. Now this does cost a little more, but it does feel better quality. There is, however, a lack of a headphone socket, which I think will be a killer for some people, but this hardware will be suited for those wanting to really push the boundaries of their SI4732 chip with a more powerful processor. So how do these two compare? The CC1101 version is all about sub gigahertz wireless communication, which like I said earlier, is great for IoT and custom RF projects. The SI4732 version is all about receiving existing radio broadcasts, so ideal for SDR hobbyists and radio enthusiasts or anyone curious about radio waves. They both share the ESP32 S3 core, same display and inputs, and both support programming through Arduino or ESP IDE. So if you know one of those, you can quickly get started with creating your own applications. Now, if you're into IoT, smart home projects, or long-range sensor networks, the T-Embed CC1101 is your go-to. But if you're more into the radio experiments, listening to shortwave or building a custom tuner, then the T-Embed SI4732 is the better choice. Honestly, they complement each other really well. You could even imagine building a project where one device transmits on sub-gigahertz, while the other lets you monitor and display signals in real time. So there we go, that's a breakdown of the T-Embed CC1101 and the T-Embed SI4732. Two boards, same core design, with very different focuses, one for wireless communication and one for radio reception. Now I'll leave a link to both of these in the description if you want to check them out and find out more about them. And let me know in the comments, what would you use these boards for? What IoT projects could you experiment with? Or maybe you want to make your own radio interface. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.